one that knows that is going back home with victory shouts hallelujah <laughs> and if you know that this victory will last forever in your lives shout hallelujah <laughs> amen kindly be seated we are going to pray for our nation but because our God is a faithful God everything I have put down here to pray about is just about worship and Pastor Khaled Yaye has done a great work the choir had sung then we should continue in the trend that the Holy Spirit wants for us to pray for the nation tonight. I just want to make a reminder. In Psalm 30 verse 5, Psalm 30 verse 5, the Bible tells us that the anger of God endures but for a moment. Weeping may endure till the night but there is going to be joy in the morning. And also to remind us briefly about how Jehoshaphat conquered his enemies. In 2 Chronicles 2020, 2 Chronicles 2020, singers were raised and they sang to the glory of the Almighty God. And God rose on their behalf. And the enemies were conquered. In Joshua chapter 6 verse 20. Joshua 6 20. The wall of Jericho served as an impediment on the way of the children of Israel. But God told Joshua what he would do. And he did it. On the last day, there was a shout, and a shout brought down the walls. The Bible recorded is that the wall fell flat. That is a tremendous victory. And that is what we are marching into in Nigeria and in all our nations tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. So, what they did is what we are going to do. We have been praying over the years. We have been sending our petitions. We are going to sing to him first and foremost before actions will be taken. We will sing all oh, the glory of the Lord forever. We will sing of oh, the glory of the Lord. We will sing. We will sing of the blessings of the Lord forever. We will sing of oh, the blessings of the Lord. Mercies 
God whose name is the King of glory the Lord of hosts the great I am that I am shout hallelujah it is already written that at the mentioning of the name of Jesus every knee they must bow. Whatever the battle is in Nigeria and all the other nations, listening to us, God is going to put an end to them tonight. So we are going to mention the name and we are going to mention seven things and the Holy Spirit will help us to add the rest. That in the name of Jesus, Unrighteousness must bow. In the name of Jesus, poverty must go. In the name of Jesus, insecurity must disappear. In the name of Jesus, unstable government must disappear. In the name of Jesus, all the lack of medical care in all our nations should disappear. In the name of Jesus, the decline in educational system must disappear. Shall we begin to mention the name now and tell him unrighteousness must disappear. The God of war, the Lord of hosts is here to move them that which we cannot do, he can do for us. Unrighteousness must disappear. We don't want any form of unrighteousness again. Injustice. It must disappear in our nations. Poverty is no longer our portion in the mighty name of Jesus. Poverty is no longer our portion in the mighty name of Jesus. Decline in our educational system must pack its load and go. Today is an end to them. The Lord of hosts is in the house. We are claiming our victory in the next minutes now. Victory is going to come down in a miraculous way into all our nations. Insecurity must pack its load and go and bow down for the name of Jesus. Every decline in the medical system in the welfare of all our nations must, di must disappear. Unstable governments must disappear in the mighty name of Jesus. Disunity must pack its load and go in the mighty name of Jesus. All these knees must bow. Jesus must be enthroned. His kingdom must come in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus, 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 me oh, Jesus. Oh. Jesus, 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 wow. 
Eba wa pe, eba wa pe Jesus wa o. Ata ba tu bu ele du male. Ashoro kolu bi o giri oke. Jesus, 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 Jesus wa o. Jesus, 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 Jesus wa o. Ata ba tu bu ele du male. Ashoro kolu bi o giri oke. Father, we honor you. The Lord of hosts, we give you praise. We can never thank you enough. From the mouth of your chosen son, you have declared to us this weekend that our victory is ahead. We trust you that if you have sent this word, you will accomplish it. Hence, we have praised you before. And we say, Jehovah, all that is our need, more than we ever think or even ask for, you will do for us. By this time next month, we shall jubilate. Because you must have done what no man can do. We give you praise for the victory ahead of our nations. In Jesus' mighty name, we have thank you.